Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to give you swatches of Stila's new Little White Lies Liquid Eyeshadow Collection. So this collection actually consists of the six liquid eyeshadows. There's also a Heavenly Highlighting Palette, but we're going to focus on the liquid eyeshadows in this video. Now Stila also just very recently released the Color Mystery line with its own set of six liquid eyeshadows. And I'm gonna link that video for you to watch if you haven't already in the upper right hand corner. I think that that collection actually is more recent than the Little White Lies collection, even though on the Stila website, the Little White Lies collection just launched. I think I've seen these on other websites like Ulta. So in any case, many people were very disappointed with the Shade Mystery liquid eyeshadows, um, and I was even more disappointed by the face gloss that's in that collection. And I think that's understandable because those look very interesting in the tube, but once swatched on the skin, they are not really opaque and they're pretty much, they end up just being straightforward shimmering liquid eyeshadows as opposed to even a duochrome or multi-chrome formula. So I'm a little more hopeful for the Little White Lies liquid eyeshadows. Hopefully they'll be a little more interesting. Remember to subscribe to the channel and see the description box below if you want a link to where you can find these to purchase them online, as well as a link to Ebates so that if you do make a purchase online, you can get some cash back on your order. All right, let's get looking at the new Little White Lies liquid eyeshadows. So there was a controversy when this collection was first being promoted because there were promotional images showing uh, a model's eye with the different colors swatched over them, but they, it appears, used the same model and then just deepened that model's skin tone to try to show what the shade looked like on lighter skin tone versus deeper skin tone. So Stila got into a bit of trouble on that. Um, I think they made some sort of statement to the effect that those were not approved images to be released or something like that, and they apologized. And the updated promotional campaign has two different models, one with lighter skin and one with deeper skin. So that's just some uh, interesting information for you. In terms of the product itself, it says, these are shimmering white liquid eyeshadow with a secret. What begins in a veil of white sparkle magically transforms into luminescent, punchy pastel inspired shades that glisten on the lids. At first glance, this glimmering liquid shadow appears white, but the formula contains luminescent particles with a colored inner core that when blended reveals those inner core colors. Like Stila's other non-transfer sparkling liquid eyeshadows, this new formula has a refreshing feel, smooth color laydown, and skin conditioners for a comfortable feel. So what it sounds like is these are all going to be a white shimmer and then there's some sort of other color that flashes, depending on how the light hits it. You can purchase these through Stila's website. Um, like I said, I also believe I've seen them on Ulta's website, and they retail for $24 each. And like with other Stila liquid eyeshadow products, these come in this kind of box packaging. I do like that the boxes on the top have a preview of what the color looks like inside. This is the clear plastic container that you get, and each one will have a pinched doe-footed applicator. So this first shade is called Yellow Tails. Second is Peach Pretense. Fuchsia Fiction. Mint Myth. Pink, wink, wink. And Lilac Legend. All right, so first up we have Yellow Tails. This is a white 
to yellow twinkle. It's a pretty gold based yellow. Peach pretense. This says white to peach twinkle, but to my eye, this looks very pink. I actually don't really see a peach color in there. Fuchsia Fiction, white to fuchsia twinkle. These color descriptions are not going to be very exciting because it's basically the name of each product. Now what is interesting on this one is I can see on the viewfinder for the camera that it this looks a little bit um, blue or purpley almost, but then to my eye, if I look directly at my arm where I'm swatching, it looks pretty pink. So that's interesting. Tell me in the comments below whether Fuchsia Fiction looks to you on the screen to be bluish or purplish, or does it look pink? Next is Mint Myth. White to Mint Twinkle. Very pretty. Okay, so again, um, on the viewfinder, to me, this one looks like it's a mint, you know, a pastel mint color, but to my eye, looking actually at my skin, to me it looks more blue. Next up is pink, wink, wink. White to pink twinkle. Looks pink both on the viewfinder and to the eye directly. And last up is Lilac Legend. White to Lilac Twinkle. Okay, now on the viewfinder, I see more of the blue showing through. It looks like a light blue. But looking directly at the skin, I see more pink and more purple. Okay, I'm gonna wait about 20 seconds to really let these dry down and we'll see how they look. All right, there are your six little white lies liquid eyeshadows. And here's what they look like up close. Very pretty. Like with the color shifting color mystery ones, these are not opaque. They are going to show the skin through. And Sila says you can wear them as um, shimmering shadows alone, or you can wear them over another eyeshadow. Very pretty and more interesting color range. Um, but again, I would say that these are kind of just what they are in terms of the color. There is a little bit of a shift from white to the pastel color, but I don't even know if I would call it a shift. It is more like there's white specks in there and then the colored specks in there. I don't know that I would really say that it actually changes from the white flash to whatever the corresponding color is. Although I will say I find it interesting that those couple of shades look more like one color on the screen and a different color to the naked eye. So because these shades are pale and pastel, I want to see if they change at all when applied over a black base. So all over my skin, I have applied a black base using L'Oreal's, one of their old hip um, pencils. I've let that dry down. So let's see how the swatches compare. There may be no difference, but let's go ahead and check it out. The first shade is Yellow Tails. Second is Peach Pretense. See, that looks pink to me. I don't see any peach in that shade, especially over a black base. Maybe in comparison now, I kind of see how this is more peachy. Tell me what you think in the comments. Fuchsia Fiction. Ooh, this looks a lot more deeper purple. That's beautiful. Don't really see a lot of pink in there anymore. Mint. Myth. Oh, wow. Okay, now again, to my eye, this looks um, blue. Maybe like a turquoise, 
but it definitely doesn't lean green. I mean, it looks kind of like a teal color, teal or turquoise color. Not turquoise, I mean like aquamarine, but the stronger, more dominant shade is blue. On the screen though, I can see how it maybe kind of looks mint. So tell me what you see on your screen. Pink, wink, wink. And Lilac Legend. Okay, so a pretty big difference, which is not that surprising just in terms of the depth of the color because it's on top of a black base, but I like it. I actually like the different effects that you get, um, a much more playful, more youthful um, finish that you get if you're just putting it over bare skin, not over a colored base, and then a much stronger punch of color and deeper shades when you put them over the black base. I also feel like over the black base you can see a little more of a distinction between the white shimmer particles and then the color shimmer particles too. So that's what those shades look like up close over a black base. All right, there you have your six liquid eyeshadows from the Little White Lies collection. What's interesting is the contrast between the swatches that I just did for the color mystery shades versus these. Because whereas I feel like with the color mystery tubes, the visual effect you get from looking at the tubes is more impressive than what you get when you actually swatch them. I think it's the converse for the Little White Lies one. In the tube, they don't really seem that interesting. And in fact, it's kind of hard to see the shift in the color. And then when you swatch them on the arms, they're much more appealing to the eye or interesting to the eye once you've actually swatched them and used them. So leave me a comment in the comment section below telling me what you think and if you have a favorite color from the six that we saw in this video, which one is your favorite? As always, I hope this video was helpful to you. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you for taking the time to watch and I'll see you in the next video.